Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to so get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Without any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm using A5 paper size and my resolution is 300 and these are the document test documents i'm going to use so you copy the hands code then go to your solid color then ctrl plus v to paste and over here is the resource file i'm going to use so import the church logo reduce the size and take it up over here now copy the church name ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font using Barlow font. Select the medium bold. Now reduce the font size. Then come over here to copy the presents. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. So you drag it over here to make a duplicate. Then you position it over here. Select your test tool while you highlight it. Ctrl plus A to highlight. Then Ctrl plus V to paste, or you can see what I did over there. I have to right click. When you right click on it, then you can paste it. Then select the color yellow and click OK to apply it. Then drag it down and position it somewhere over here. Make sure that you centralize it. Now increase it a little. It's okay. So to apply zoom, you can press Z on your keyboard to select the zoom icon. Then increase the font. And I'm going to use the font Unisans. Then make use of Unisan Heavy Cap. All right. So over here now, then we are going to reduce the character spacing by minus 40%. Centralize it. Then select the test tool and change the font color to white. So this is the color font we are going to be used for now. But we are going to change it to gradient. Then import this image and reduce the size. It's okay. Then go back to your resource file and import this one. Reduce the size. All right. Then apply your layer mask. 
select your gradient tool you can see the outcome the reason why it appear like this is because of the gradients i use here so what i will do now then i'm going to change it then select the basic and apply black and white now you can apply your gradients to blend the image so this is the outcome now i'm going to apply adjustments to the color and bright it all right follow the process okay so you can see then apply the same thing to the second image Right, we are done with that. Then I'm going to click OK. Then increase the font size. Alright. Then you select the image. Re bring it down. So okay like this so the next i'm going to copy their name select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font I'm going to use the font Bebas New. Then make use of the bold one. Then and change the font color to yellow. Then remove the character spacing by 0%. Then come over your document and copy this one. Then duplicate this host, bring it down, highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight, always remember that. Then change the color to white, position it at the center, you can select it while you hold your shift key, apply center alignment. So, right. Then you drag it down and position it somewhere around here. Duplicate it and drag it over here. Okay. Then copy the name. Then highlight it. Ctrl plus A or you go to select on the menu and select all. Then select all to highlight or Ctrl plus A. Then make a copy of this one. Then right click and paste or use Ctrl plus V to enable you more faster. Hold your shift key while you select it. right so we are done with that so the next one now then i'm going to apply this light flare 
reduce the size. Okay, then you go to your blending mode and change it to screen. Then position it somewhere around here. Go to your filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to use 11.1 .1 or 11. They are all the same. Now group it, Ctrl plus G. So we are done with that one. So in the next one, then we are going to copy the location. So remember what I said, if you want to apply zoom, to zoom in or zoom out, then press Z on your keyboard. That is for zoom. Under the menu, under the tools, then you can also see the icon for zoom. Change the font to below. Make it semi bold and reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then eleven percent is okay for the space. Then I'm going to reduce it more. All right. Then go to your test document and copy the dates. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Now I'm using the font Bebas. Okay. Then go back and make your copy. Select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard. Reduce it to align it. Draw a line at this position. Now we are going to change the color to this orange or yellow color. Then duplicate the test here and drag it over this position. Go to your test document and make a copy. Now select your test tool, Ctrl plus A to alight, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, position it the way you want it. So, when you want to select, always use your shift key to select or control key to select. So now we are coming back to team.
Then we are going to make this copy for the font we are going to use. And Ctrl plus V to select it, I mean to paste it. So follow the process for the drop shadow. Okay, now I'm going to click OK for that. So you can see the effect when you zoom in. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Then change the font to Beba's Neon. Then make it bold. Increase the font size. Now select your rectangle tool and you draw a rectangle over here. Then I'm going to apply a gradient overlay. Then here is the color code I'm going to use. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus B to paste. Make a copy of this one. Then select the color. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you click OK to apply. Then go back to the color and drag this one to the exposition or within 52 or 50 percent. Then you click OK. Ctrl plus V to paste, then you break it. Right. Then reduce the size and position it at the center. Then increase the size. Okay. Then zoom in. Then this one we are going to duplicate it. Control plus J to duplicate. Or you drag it over there to duplicate it and take it up. Now bring it down. Then increase the size. Come over to your test document and make a copy of this test. Then select it all. Right click and paste it. Now we are going to increase it to align it together. All right, so we are done with that. Now we are going to select it. Hold your shift key while you select. Increase the size. 
also increase this one all right so having done this one now so the next we are going to do then we are going to select it hold your shift key there and group it so this is our team okay so we are through with this one now then hold your shift key while you select this one then you group it or ctrl plus g to make it more faster so this is our heading ctrl plus g to group so and this is our topic now we are coming back to our background now hold your shift key while you drag it down scale it out then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then enter 41.5 percent select a layer mask then now pick your brush or your gradient tool and brush over here then the second one import this one scale it out then in, take it up All right. Now go back to Fita, select blur and Gaussian blur. Then blur it. Now apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool and blend here. So here now you create a new layer, then change your brush color to red, increase the size of your brush. Now over here I'm going to select here and uh, click on it. Then click two times. then import this one scale it out a little and drag it up then change the blending mode to soft light apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend the bottom over here Then we are going to import the next one. Import this one. Then we are going to scale it a little. Okay. Then go to Fita and select your blow gaussian blow then we are going to blow it by 15.3 okay then go to your blended mode and select soft light now we are going to brush this place on the top okay now go to your resource file and we are going to import this one
drag it down before then i'm going to select this one here so this is the first one then flip it horizontal now we can now drag this one down scale it a little then select your filter blur gaussian blur though this one we are going to blur it by um 11.1 percent so you can use 11 percent or 11.1 they are all the same then the bloody mode overlay apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend the top here okay now the last image we are going to import this worship then right click and flip it horizontal reduce the size drag it up all right apply your layer mask select your brush tool and brush over the bottom here the side here and the top okay then the next one go to your blending mode and select soft light take it up around the air then select your brush here and reduce the opacity okay now we are going to apply our effects so go to your blended option select bevel and uh, emboss bevel and emboss then we are going to use this pillow emboss chisel hard and the depth 1000 then the size we are going to make it seven so follow the setting over here so the next one select this contour Then apply your gradient overlay. Then go to your test document and here are the code I'm going to use. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste and the last one Ctrl plus C to copy then select the color Ctrl plus V to paste now the drop shadow so we are going to change the distance so change this one to multiply 90% for the angle opacity 100% then the distance we are going to change it to 8 and the spread 11 then 21 for the size 
so click ok now we are going to copy this one then go to the prophetic that is our team right click and paste the layer style So that is it. Then I'm going to increase the size. All right. So as you can see, we are done with the design already. So thank you so much for following. Remember, if you are not subscribed, subscribe now so that you will get any of the video that I'm going to upload. And uh, the second one, if you want to create a Fiverr account, there is a link in the descriptions that you can go through it. Then create your Fiverr account. And if you want to order for any flyer, then you can go to my Fiverr account through the link in the descriptions and order any of your flyers. I also use TubeBuddy to optimize my YouTube channel so you can also go to the link there then create your TubeBuddy account and optimize your channel or any social media channel that you want to optimize. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate you guys for the effort you are putting in supporting my channel by watching. Continue watching and share. Like. I really love you guys. Thank you so much.